Hey guys, I'm going to show you a quick way to uh, see the length and strength of the lat muscle. The lat muscle causes a lot of dysfunction on the shoulder and the low back, so it's a major one we should know how to check the length and how to check the strength and know how to treat it properly to fix the issues in the shoulder and the opposite glute. As you know, if Eric turns around here, the lat comes into the front of the front of the shoulder up into here, comes down across and goes into the thoracolumbar fascia. Any weakness here is going to cause strain across the thoracolumbar fascia and into the opposite glute. So first I'm going to show you the strength test of the lat. All we do is a little bit of internal rotation, bring right a deduction into the body. I'm going to grab his humerus, my drive is going to be this way, straight out, and Eric's going to resist that. So I'm going to grab his arm here, as Eric resists me, and pull that out. Now one thing we're going to look for here is if he recruits any pec. If he's contracting his pec muscle, it's not a great sign. And he's compensating, keeping that arm into his body. Next thing we do is show, test out the length, see if there's any adhesions. Now, in some athletes' cases, if there's any dysfunction in the shoulder already, you may have an impingement from the supraspinatus into the uh, AC joint or across the infraspinatus muscle or the uh, posterior rotator cuff muscle. So, all I'm going to do is going to grab his wrist or do, do it passively first. We're going to come out palm facing away from him, try to bring his bicep right to his ear. Now, we're going to see his full length of his lat here. Second time around, we're going to see actively how, so we're going to have him come up, try to bring his bicep right towards his ear. Now one thing Eric did here, if you, I don't know if you guys catch on the video, he did a little bit of compensation here to bring his head towards. Now we don't want that, we want his head to stay in a nice neutral position, so we'll do that again. I'll just add a little bit of resistance, have him bring it right up. Good. Now I'm going to show you how to treat the lat muscle very quickly. So if Eric can lay on his side with this shoulder facing the ceiling for us. Now a major issue in the shoulder as well is sometimes if you have any scar tissue or adhesions, the lat can actually attach, get stuck to the serratus. Anytime you're doing any shoulder movements, this is the serratus here, this is the lat, any kind of movement, they can get stuck together, causing a little bit of jamming or dysfunction. All we're going to do is we're going to palpate, we'll start right up in here, we're going to palpate that lat, Come across, grab a little bit of tissue tension, bring his arm right down, add more tension distally or down towards his glute, bring his arm right up. This is also known as a pin and strip. Good. And then again, all the way down that lat muscle, we're, gonna, we're just going to separate those two. We're going to separate the stratus anterior from the lat. Now, this is great. And then after that, we're going to retest his strength. Good. Now another way to treat it as well is if we have bring his arm right up and we just use a little bit of massage or some little lotion, we strip the lat right down. Some other uh, stuff to consider is his T-spine, make sure there's enough rotation as in custom grabbing dysfunction there. Now we're going to retest the length of Eric's uh, shoulder here, or of his lat. So up face, we go passively first, or actively, sorry. Good. Now this time you didn't have any, any lateral flexion of the C-spine. Now just do a little bit active. Good. That's 